Hi, George here. And I'm MJ. Here with JustOneDram.com to bring you another whiskey review. Today, it is a review of Willett's Pot Still Reserve. It is a hand bottled and nicely hand numbered. And it even has the barrel number because it is a single barrel. This bottle we have is bottle 204 of 274 of batch 800. Er, Barrel number 842. So we got barrel 842 here. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, from what I read about it, is between 8 and 10 years old. However, something important to know the Willet or the Kentucky Distillers. Kentucky Bourbon Distillers. Kentucky Bourbon Distillers is the producer that uh, actually, this Pure Kentucky XO I reviewed before, made by the same family of companies, I'm sorry, not family, but family of companies, which is Willet. Anyway, something important to know about this being 8 to 10 years old, between the early 1980s and 2012, the Kentucky Bourbon Distillers uh, Distillery didn't produce a drop. They were in an in-between phase, I guess, I'm not, I don't know the whole story behind it, but Seeing as how it is 2014, they did not distill this at their facility. Best guess on where it's sourced from is Heaven Hill, who does stuff like Evan Williams, Elijah Craig. Talked about it when I uh, reviewed the Elijah Craig. So best guess is, is from Heaven Hill because, well, it's right, literally right up the road from the Willet or the Kentucky Bourbon Distillers uh, headquarters and plant. Anyway, it does not detract from the quality, just it's worth knowing. Good to know. Anyway, um, <clears throat> first we just want to take a look at the color. Um, it's pretty, pretty light golden uh, hue to it. It's, uh, like we were saying earlier, it's a little viscous, so it's a little bit thicker than, uh, than kind of normally, uh, normal whiskey that we would uh, take a look at, but Oh, that anyway. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So, uh, on the nose, <laughs> we're gonna need to get you an adult. <laughs> on the nose. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's a uh, little grassy. You know, it's things like aniseed. Definitely a bit of caramel, vanilla. Yeah, my initial notes, the first thing I smelled was a lot of grass. Uh, kind of like a dried grass, kind of in that middle of summer where the grass is all dried off from, from not having rained. Kind of smelled like that. But as it sat, um, there's a lot more different uh, different scents that are kind of coming out. Uh, I'm definitely picking up a lot of fruity, uh, like plum, and... Uh, Kind of sweetness to yeah, it. Yeah, some dates and raisins, some yeah. dried fruits. Yeah. Uh, I know you were saying that you know it reminded you a lot of kind of a wine. Yeah. Uh, smells the grassiness kind of gives it a uh, feel of. I'm trying to think of the blend, but a white, a blended white wine, something probably with a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc in there or something because it's got that grassiness and that lightness to it. But it's still, I don't know. It's yeah, it's, it's weird. pretty you have to slide yourself to. It's, yeah, it's not your typical typical nose. And onto the palate. This bourbon is super smooth. Um, <clears throat> before we started reviewing this one, I, I tried the Pure Kentucky, uh, which is pretty much the exact opposite. Uh, so when, when I got to move on to this, it was really refreshing, super smooth, very silky across your tongue. Uh, it's very sweet up front. Uh, rolls back a lot of smoky uh, aspects to it. Definitely tastes a lot of vanilla. Um, yeah, big vanilla, big caramel, some toffee. But then as it as it finishes, it kind of kind of lingers and tingles on your tongue. There's definitely uh, quite a bit of of that alcohol feel to it, which is, it's what, 
94. 90, okay, so 94. Oh, I'm sorry, proved 94, proved 94, 97, proved, proved yes, excuse me. Um, so it's a little on the higher side, especially for a bourbon. Uh, and it, it, you feel it. It's not off-putting, but it's, it's definitely there. And bring back the, the white wine feel uh, to it. On the palate, you get off the end of the palate into the finish, you get that, as you said, that tingly. It's also got a little bit of that acidic pucker feel to it mm -hmm. that you get with like a really crisp yeah. uh, white wine. And just it, you get that pucker, that tingle in the back of your mouth and you salivate a little bit. It's a good thing. It's just, yeah, it's not, not something they typically get. In yeah, it's interesting. So. And the finish, big on the corn, big on the vanilla. A little oily, like corn oil. Yeah. It's definitely one of the more smokier whiskeys that I've had recently. Yeah, very toasty. Uh, which is good. I like that. Took out a lot of flavor from the oak over the eight to ten years it was in the uh, barrels. <laughs> but anyway, score. What do you think of this? I really enjoyed it. Um, this is definitely something that I would look forward to either purchasing or, or enjoying in the future, so I scored it with a 90. I would actually have to say I gave you the same. 90 points for me as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video, leave a comment on what you thought of Will It, what you thought of the review, what you'd like to see us review in the future, blah, blah, blah. Subscribe to the channel, check out JustOneGram.com, Facebook, Twitter, all the social, social Social media. As you can see, I'm a bit of a mess today, <laughs> pouring all over myself. And can't say the word or the phrase social media. All that social media nonsense. Anyway, cheers.